There are over 1.5 billion WhatsApp users around the world, sending 60 billion messages per day. I wonder how many of those 1.5 billion users know about these five tips and tricks that I'm going to be sharing with you on this week's Tech Tip Tuesday. Hey, welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. My name is Leron Segev and every Tuesday I share with you tips and tricks how to become more productive, more efficient and get more out of your system. If that sounds good to you, take a moment, smash that subscribe button and let's get on to this week's show. Did you know that if you send a video file that's under six seconds, you have a choice to make it a video or a GIF. If you make it into a GIF, it will automatically just loop around the same thing again and again. Let me show you how to do that. So open up a message, press the camera button and it will give you the option to record. Now you can take a picture or a video. This time we're going to do a video, hold the record button down and keep it under six seconds. As soon as you keep it under six seconds, at the top it will give you the option to make it into a GIF. Click the GIF and now what it will do is it will actually loop around the GIF again and again and again versus a video file. One of my favorite features is the location and that is a way that you can share your location with somebody else so it makes it very easy to coordinate pickups and drop off and where you happen to be versus just typing in the full address into a GPS. But there's another part of location and that is live tracking. So I can make my location available live for other people to see only for a certain period of time. And it is a great feature, especially when you want to keep an eye on something like your kids coming home. You want to make sure they're home safely. Let me show you how to do that. So hit the paperclip icon, choose location as the attachment. And here you have the choice. It will give you the option to either send your current location or share your live location. If you choose your live location, it will let you know that people can see in real time where you happen to be. Click continue. And now you can select how long you want your location to be shared for. 15 minutes, one hour or eight hours. You can go back and select only send your current location and it will put a little map on the WhatsApp message and the receiving party will be able to get to where you are. So one of the things that WhatsApp does is it automatically saves every video file, every voice note, and every image or meme that you get. Now, if you're part of lots of groups, you're going to get lots of these and it's going to clog up your phone very, very quickly. I'm going to show you how you can get rid of that. So under settings, go into your data storage usage. And here are these two places, media auto download under mobile. And you'll see these media download under Wi-Fi conditions. So under mobile data, untick it. And of course, under Wi-Fi, untick those as well. So now you have a choice of which files you want to download and save versus them automatically taking up space. How do you get your message to stand out in the crowd? Well, you can add bold, italic or strike, strike through, strike through. You can add bold, italic or strike through to your messages. And I'm going to show you with these little hidden features how you can do that in your WhatsApp messages. Okay, so let's say you want to have something in italics as an example. So use the underscore, type whatever you want to type that you want to be italicized, italicized, put an underscore at the end and there it is, it makes it into italics. Let's do another one. This time we're going to make something into bold. Use the star, type whatever you want to type and use the star again. And as soon as you do that, that bit becomes nice and bold. And finally, the strike through. For that, you're going to have to find the tilde. That's a little squiggly pointing things. Find it on your keyboard, type whatever you need to type. Another one, tilde at the end, and there's a strike through. Ta-da! A typical conversation in WhatsApp usually includes some to-do features, like don't forget to buy bread, don't forget to send that email, don't forget to download that file. I'm going to show you a way that you can have a very quick access to all the things you're supposed to do without going through every single one of your WhatsApp conversations. So all you're going to do is find the message that is the instruction of something that you don't want to forget, hold it down and press the star button at the top. Now all you have to do is go back into your WhatsApp messages, click on the three little dots at the top, click on all starred messages and there it is, everything that you need to remember very quickly. 
If you know any hacks or any tricks that you like to share, please leave them in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up, watch some of these other cool videos, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Tech Tip Tuesday. Cheers for now.